Hi, it's Jamie, progressive number one, number two employee. Leave a message at the... Hey, Jamie, it's me, Jamie. This is your daily pep talk. I know it's been rough going ever since people found out about your acapella group, Mad Harmony, but you will bounce back. I mean, you're the guy always helping people find coverage options with the Name Your Price tool. It should be you giving me the pep talk. Now get out there, hit that high note, and take Mad Harmony all the way to nationals this year! Sorry, this is pitchy. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. At Domino's, we're more than pizza, so mix it up with our specialty chicken, stuffed cheesy bread, sandwiches, pastas, medium two-topping pizzas, and more for just $5.99 each, and we'll mix stand-up comedy with a robot. Stuffed cheesy bread and my act have a lot in common. They're both super cheesy. Tough crowd. You can also mix it up with Domino's salads, marbled cookie brownie, bread twist, and medium two-topping pizzas. Order any two or more for just $5.99 each. Two-item minimum. Bone-in wings, handmade pan pizza, and bread bowl pasta will be extra. You must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Hey, this is Jim the Keys Bartender coming to you for episode 128 from... Uh, Shipwrecks in North Kia. I know I'm where always going to think. I got to think where the fuck I am. Uh, but here we are, episode 128. I'm here with Bill Wishinger. Hey, yeah, uh, y'all do it. Luke Lynn, who's hey, hitting man. off his vape right now. There he goes. There he goes. Uh, mm-hmm. Woo, buddy. This is, no, called, nine, this is called Nine Pound Hammer. Nine Pound Hammer. We yeah, just uh, finished up uh, right before uh, we got on the air. Uh, there was a song playing on, uh, there's a country station. Yeah. Luckily, you're not listening to the background of it and stuff like that. A local one. I'm just not a... It wasn't too country. Well, I mean, if I walked in a bar was playing it, I would fucking turn around and leave because I would think it was country. But a country person calls it rock. I call it neither, I guess. So, I mean, it's enough country that I would have walked out. But it, you know what? Actually, like certain country... No, I, I actually that. probably would have hung out and listened to that. Yeah. You know, until that he, song? Until he, yeah, until he started singing. <laughs> the riff was fucking good. Man. I heard a, there was a rap song I heard on a country station. Yeah, yeah that's bizarre. Yeah, a rap, yeah, they do a rap song, and it, it was definitely a, weird it was definitely a black dude doing it and singing, uh, rapping a country song. And I said, oh, what they're trying to do is probably turn it into everything yeah, like, like rock is, like pop and all that stuff. So, and you got you got that big leeway now. So okay. this here beer, this is called 420. What is that? How big is that? That's uh, um, S-O-D, how are you? That's what he said or she said. It's over. How big is It's that? bigger than a pint. Yeah. Well, it's way bigger than a pint. I'm thinking like 30 ounces. I think they're 30. A pint 16. That's, that's. Uh, I think a pint. But it really does. I think it could it be 32 ounces. It really does ounces. smell and taste like really good weed. There you go. And smell it. Like Extra hops. It? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll there give you, you some of my bush beer. <laughs> no, I think. We'll pass. Only if it tastes... Oh, my God. It does taste like weed. Only if it tastes like... Oh, anything bush. real hoppy does. It's hoppy. But it's, this particular hop really does have a marijuana lean. you got a weedy, it. weedy It lean. does. I mean, it really... But that, almost everything you fucking touch... Too. No, but everything that touches you, Luke, ends up having a marijuana aftertaste. <laughs> Fuck get it. Isn't that good? Oh come on! I'm not insulting no, you, no, man. I was just going to say, hey, listen, I have girls all... always chose to swallow because uh, you know, you oh, get yeah. a good buzz off of it. Are those nuts? Out of these, out of this sack, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Bill's not here, but it doesn't really matter. He walked. He just walked away in the middle. Of it. But you had a very. Can we talk about your neighbor? Oh man, Fuck. your dickhead neighbor. You know, you live somewhere for like. I don't know. We've been there four or five years, man. And it's been just so nice just having people that, you know, part-timers that come down once in a blue moon on, you know, big holiday weekends. And I'm working anyway, so it's no big deal to me that they're there. So keep the uh, – let's talk about some of the good and stuff. So now, and, you know, okay, and then we're going to uh, break in about the But all, of the, all those neighbors, I know all of them. They've all introduced themselves to yep. me. They've all met my dog. You know, they uh, – They've all been very pleasant and polite. T Bone. And you know, they've they've all only partied till like eleven or midnight and shut it off. But I'm not like I said, I'm not there anyway. It doesn't yeah, it bother doesn't me. fucking matter, yeah. Well the guy that just moved in and, and now he lives here like a little more than part time. He's not exactly full time, but he's here 
uh, just, I mean, just to be a pain in my ass, I think, is the only reason he's here. I mean, he's staring at my old lady putting on her makeup. Well, that was a different, that's, I'm going to talk about that later. Now, while we're talking about that wonderful setup of that story, we're in shipwrecks. They have happy hour Monday through Friday. They got happy hour on uh, beers uh, and everything during uh, on the rest of the weekend. And they have this 420 beer, man, they have here. that. And I'm not being paid to say this either. I just really like no, it. No, you're not. Who, who makes 420? I have no fucking Sweetwater, idea. Sweetwater. Oh, Sweetwater. Sweetwater, yeah, yes. okay. I, w- right when he said it, I remember that. Okay, we're going to get back to your... Um, um, there's a guy staying there right now. The Not your neighbor. Oh, the guy, but his friend. It, yeah. The guy who has kind of a a weak arm. I don't want to call him. He looks him. like a stroke victim. And he's just uh, hanging over the balcony when uh, your wife, Kim's getting ready this morning. She told me that. Not because I was the guy looking over the balcony. I wasn't. Um, but because I'm working with Kim, and she's telling me a story about this. And I said, it sounded like you put on a pretty good show. <laughs> what, what do you have to say about that? Well, I told her, I said... Shake it, babe. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> I said, that dude probably ain't seen nothing like that in a long time. Yeah. I think tomorrow, if he's up there, you should take a long time in front of the mirror <laughs> and start rubbing around your areolas. No, uh, man. Sit there in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with the, uh, the, uh, your 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 little uh, mushroom penis. <laughs> there we go. Um, you know, whatever. Is that what you meant by helicopter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's hard to get the balls to stay in one place <laughs> at this age, man. And so you end up yeah, long enough they start slapping, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> slapping yourself over the chin. <laughs> I'd have to like stick some ice cubes on the old nut sack to get it drawn up. <laughs> well. Um, yesterday you weren't here, Luke, but I was telling you, uh, telling Bill and there was a uh, couple came in and they were talking about how disgusting the woman was in the night I was working, um, Monday night. Uh, she, and I'm going to repeat this story cause it's worthy of repeating. Go on, she it. comes in, she was talking to Paige at the Caribbean club. Paige is the co-owner of the catch. And she says, you got to go to the catch. And try an espresso martini. It turned out we ended up using our last espresso pod. So the lady didn't get it. The lady that came down didn't get that. She ended up getting a chocolate martini. Uh, there's this guy that came in. He was kind of confused. He says, I was supposed to meet these guys like an hour ago down at the docks. And we're going to have a spaghetti dinner. But they're not there. And I said, what do you mean about fucking docks? We don't have docks here. We have a dock someplace and another place. But we don't have docks. You know, consider everyone has stocks. But these knuckleheads show up. So this guy's in his late 60s. His buddy who's in his mid-60s comes with a guy who's younger. He's got thick glasses, looks a little bohemian. But he's kind of stupid, so he doesn't have the smarts going for him either. So he's got something going on. And he has a flannel shirt that's cut off, you know, a short sleeve shirt. And his belly's exposing, you know, it's just... Not a man, manly man at all. At all. Almost had a you know, it's really funny, man. No, wait, long. hold on. Let me explain my, what happened. Oh, Will you, before you, can I finish? No. I know. Because <laughs> by the time you so, finish, that little thing will be gone, but that's okay. It's, well, that's all right, because you, you'll be able to tell a story after I'm done. So this woman uh, comes in. This guy, uh, she's ordering drinks. She's pretty witty and stuff like that. But then she gets a little saucier, a little saucier, but she goes way over the fucking line because the guy without the... Shirt button down. The reason I didn't tell the guy to button up his shirt, because he was in, that's the only thing he had going for him, and he's kind of sad, and I didn't want to go embarrass him. Because that was it. Button up your shirt. I didn't tell him to button up his shirt. No, because he wasn't being an asshole or anything like that. He was kind of, kind of nerdy and all that stuff. So I didn't want to embarrass him anymore. I figure I'll leave it to the next bar to tell him to do that. Yeah, it's keys casual. You know, wear a shirt. Formal means you yeah, button yeah. it. I know, and it's kind of, but they, <laughs> no, no one else wears it like that. So he goes to the bathroom, maybe spends a minute and a half, two minutes there because there's nothing going on there. And then he comes back and she goes, hey, spent a lot of time in that bathroom. What were you, jerking off? And then he goes, uh, I, I don't know. That was a fucking conversation. I look at it and I go, 
that's all you have, buddy? That's I got nothing. That's what he said. He said, I, I don't know. I mean, he wasn't jerking off because, I mean, you can't even wash your hands after a minute and a half and stuff. Get up, walk in there and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, no one's jerking off in a minute and a half. Are they? How fast are you? Are you? I don't know. 45 it's too seconds? small of a bathroom. There ain't no room to fucking really jerk off in there, man. Not unless you're only fucking five foot five. Yeah, you can't get a run up at it. What do you have? <laughs> like, what are you using? Are you using visual material like a glamour magazine or? No, I usually I have enough fucking shit in my own head, man. I don't even need porn anymore. Yeah. Really? Man. Yeah. So you thinking of a what? No. Plus, the problem with porn is any porn that you ca- that you care to think of has been done. Oh, you know, all they can do now is just get more disgusting or more bizarre. Well, I'm asking, you know. what are you using in there? And you said just in your head. Yeah, yeah, man. How long does it normally take? <laughs> um, you know, I got it down to probably under ten seconds, man. <laughs> there you go. Ten seconds. Boom. Well, Flaccid to ejaculate. Yeah, because I already did fucking it. Fucking liar. I've been, no no way. I've been doing no it. I've been way. doing it mentally yeah, for ten, fucking a he's half been pra- hour, He's been man. practicing this for a long time, man. From flaccid. Actually, actually, I can sometimes do it without even having to touch it, man. I call bullshit on that. Ten seconds. It's like having a wet dream, ten, man. Nine, eight, seven, I'm done six, already. Fi- from, flaccid, from flaccid? From flaccid. From flaccid. Mine doesn't do nothing but flaccid. <laughs> oh, so, oh, okay, well, see, I was assuming, like, proper function. Okay, okay, okay. Well, then I could see that. Because mm. it takes at least, like, 35 seconds from the Callista going. over there, and she ain't coming and saying hi. Oh, I know. Fucking poor buggy. So... Okay, we're going to go back. I so when that engine fired up over there, man, just because I was looking at this way, my brain's first cognitive recognition of the sound was a tractor starting. Yep. Right over here? Yeah. Because yep. yeah. it was a diesel. Well, No, you know, not only is it a diesel, it's a John Deere diesel. In, in that? In that, that boat's got a John Deere motor. Yeah. Oh, you know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell by the exhaust sound. That's why. Okay. That's why I heard a fucking tractor. That's why you heard a tractor. Up. No shit, because that's what we had on the farm, man. Yep. We had mostly John Deere's. John Deere's. We had a few Massey Ferguson's. We had an old um, fucking Minneapolis Moline, man. <laughs> Got to feed that thing ether pills to get it going. I, I that That's great. <laughs> that's fucking great Jim's got nothing I got nothing I have fucking nothing with that I'm going well I mean but I imagine that's there's not a bunch of people downloading this podcast and going I fucking have a lot of recordings of different diesel engines and I, John Deere is one of my favorite well no, no I mean it didn't the, happen just the fact that I had no idea that that had an actual tractor motor in it but that's what I heard because that's how much of a hillbilly I am it's ingrained in me yep you know, I'm a city guy. I knew it was thing. a diesel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. I knew it right away. I go, oh, that's not a normal kind of uh, boat. And you're looking around. No, no. I mean, we're, we're, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we did talk about shipwrecks, but we are on a canal, and we. I heard that. I heard the motor go up, and oh man, that cigar smells great. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, and when it started up, I'm just looking around like the rest of them. I'm like, where's it coming from? And then it was coming from that boat. So I guess I realized it was a a non-marine diesel. Well, when, no, they, they, they marinize the John Deere's. What? They yeah, do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot, a lot of guys run those in the boats. But you know how every vehicle, like like if it's a Dodge, every Dodge engine has the same starter sound. He, 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 you know, like that. Yeah, and you know Ford's do the, tick, 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 you know, and uh, Chevrolet has its. <laughs> I'm mad at my Chevrolet right now. Yeah, so. you don't like Chevys. Yeah, no, no, actually, I love Chevrolet. Mad man. I'm just hate mine right now because okay. it's pissing me off. We so. need to get him another old Ford van. Man, now see that would that would probably. Well, how long have you had your Chevy van? Um, let's see, long enough to overpay for it, put a twelve hundred dollar transmission in it. 
Replace How long all ago? the window motors at a cost about four hundred bucks. Well, we need to replace and, and those. That again. only lasted for a little while. The nothing on the dashboard works except other than the radio a little bit. Ain't and nothing the, wrong with a radio. And uh, <laughs> but uh, this the lights you you never you got to play with the fucking uh, shifter to make sure the lights come on. You know, and um, at any given moment it'll just go black driving down the road and it just everything shuts off and you just got to kind of flick switches and wiggle, jerk wiggle, wiggle. shit and pound on it and then it comes back on that's so fun. that's why i'm really angry at this Chevrolet. that's fucking awesome man that was a great story there you go. man that's like uh the M- millennial falcon millennium Mille- what it was it millennia Millennial. Yeah. millennial falcon that yeah. just kept falling apart and shit was a yeah. real pos yep hey at least it went to light speed one time <laughs> and it did something to kessering past the kessering run in 12.4 parsecs or Whatever. something like something like, well you're talking you're doing 12. star wars nerds and i i did uh part of it too don't act like i'm a what a was the star wars nerd thing i said a oh. millennium falcon you know, you, well, started no, the- you were talking about the Millennial Falcon. I, I had no idea <laughs> where you were coming from with it. I just went with it, man. You yeah. didn't know that was Star Wars? That was the Han Solo yeah, shit? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, that kept I'm, on bringing I'm, Millennial. Oh, Millennial. I made, I made, oh, you think of Millennial driving a Ford Falcon? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, fuck. That's okay. That's a good one, too. That's a fucking great one. A Millennial that Falcon. Would be a, is, uh, you know, that would that's the title on the next show. The millennial, the millennial Falcon. Falcon. The Millennial Falcon. I had a Ford so Falcon. So it drives a nineteen sixty five. My buddy had one uh, from Philly that uh, Ed that was a bartender at the uh, the pilot house and the fish house. He uh, had one and he didn't have floorboards in the back. And you just See, drive why they make stop signs. Oh well yeah, but he, this is where we threw the beer when you're little old lady the down the street, she had her a I believe it was a sixty She's 62 or 3 Falcon. There she is. How you doing, What's sweetheart? What's going on, Viv? How are you guys? It's the lovely and talented Viv. It is. Yes. No, there you go. Got the yep. whole uh, job honky handshake going on there. I do. I'm, I'm pretty good with handshakes. I'm kind of... I'm gifted. I, um, I make them up. Make them up. I had the... With my daughter, we have a secret uh, family handshake. Don't you ever do the pick your nose and then reach out the no. shake somebody? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, you got to go like I gotta this remember and that then one. up and then over. Yeah. You get it? Okay, folks, this is it. You you start going out with the handshake, right? And then you immediately Before you go past the nose, you go up into the nostril and you take it out and continue. So you're trying to go up doing a big... Um, uh, arrow. It's an arrow. It's an upward. It's a positive thing. There you go. You're the man. <laughs> Got the big uh, finger out there and stuff like that. Oh, uh, uh, and we missed the other thing. Uh, I always dreamed if I ever met somebody like, say... Uh, what? If I ever met somebody like, say, uh, Mitch McConnell. That's somebody I would do that to. And I would hope I could dig out a nice a black old, fucking full of dirt booger that's just as dark green with with black dirt and some mold if I could even get it and 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 make him and he has he can't see can't quit now and, and rub it on his. Thanks a lot, butt. fucking Luke. I got this whole plate of oysters in front of me now, and I can't <laughs> eat them. That's horrible. No, I don't have a plate of oysters. But you know, that's a nice thing about the audio medium that they don't know that. And there could be oysters here, and you just ruined it for me. Because that could does look like fucking snot. Oysters do. No, oysters but look more like fucking... Um, lugers. Aller- allergy lugers, oh, man. man. They're white, you know? Thank you, Toe. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. Hey, look, and we're helping. We're helping them. Hey, uh, but there's another thing we had to, uh, today. Uh, Kathy at the catch. Uh, all our good friends here, right? All, she's a good friend of all of us. She's been coaxing Luke... <laughs> To be She's trying to talk sick. me into playing fucking Santa Claus, and I'm like, Christmas fucking party. no way, oh, man. Oh, dude, do it. I said no, I'd dress I dress up like an elf, kids, right? Man. No, but I said I'd dress up like an elf if you did. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you'd look like Will fucking Farrell, man. <laughs> I'd be a little different. I'm a little more fit than he is. A well, little. He, You'd still have to go get fucking elf ears. Yep, and elf ears. And no, wait, and he didn't have... Whoa, 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 whoa. And, 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 you, I and you're that. tall like he is. So. If he did, 
you know, you know, he people would probably think he was Will Ferrell, but man. he didn't have the ears done. I thought he did because he was a human done, child. Man. No, he was a human child. He was human. He was adopted by elves. That's yours are why- kind of pointy anyway. So you, you, your mama could have been an elf. That's not even close, Luke. I'm telling you, man. I, I, I <laughs> listen. I told my wood, and I didn't tell. I didn't. I didn't go. To, I didn't go to low road. Saying you already had the fucking beard if I threw some baby powder in it. And stuff yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. I already know how that's going to go, man. You know that. And, and, and I didn't do that. And I said I'd be an elf. I wear the pointy fucking oh. shoes that are cur- curled. Does Kathy well, realize you're going to be... I mean, I would have to powder my fucking beard. That yeah, goes yeah. Well, we'll powder your beard, but I'll... I'll, I'll I mean, but I'm, I'm thinking not the, doing it, though. I'm thinking the, the, the uh, opportunity... What do you mean you're not? I'm just fucking... I know. I'm, you I'm might. Think, you might. I, I don't like kids. Man. Why not? You love well, kids. No, no I'm they thinking, scare the shit out of me. I want I'm thinking of the opportunities to, to to have all, all, like all to the... I like to watch other people's kids from afar. I'm thinking of the possibilities to have all the young women sitting on your lap and ask them what you want for Christmas. No, no. You got a bunch of 20-somethings in there. No, I don't. you know what I did I make a statement. Of young girls I did sitting on my lap and well, taking it because see, especially the, the little kids, they can't quite make it up. So the first thing they reach for is your, your fucking beard. cock, <laughs> you know. And they pull yourself up to that far, and then they grab you by the beard, <laughs> you know. They grab you by the cock. Yeah, I have you ever seen anybody. the Santa Claus? I watched the Santa Claus Mall Santa. Yep. You know the mall Santa uh, at the mall. And because I, I was thinking about doing it, man, because I, I was fucking hurting for money at the time, and I was fat then, and figured, what the fuck, I, you know, yeah. I wouldn't have to wear any cushions anyway. There you go. And uh, so I watched the Santa Claus dude in action, man, and so, you know, between certain age groups, they all have their methods, man. The You have the kids that are old enough to run up and jump on you, they land fucking knee first right Boom. on your fucking right on crotch, the balls. right in the nuts, man. That's what I would do. And, uh, I mean, and the other little kids, the they, they get up there and they smash into balls to sit on your lap, man. It's just, you're, you're, you got to show Santa who's you, boss. Your crotch, up, your crotch is under assault the whole time. You're a Santa Claus. No, but you got to show Santa who's there. boss. You got to knee him in the crotch. Fuck him. Yeah, man, but see. He didn't bring me, he didn't bring me my, uh. Your secret uh, squirrel or PlayStation, fucking, uh, PlayStation Two. Watch, man. motherfucker. The co- sir- secret sir- squirrel super decoder watch. That's yeah. It. Now, well, what we'll that or PlayStation Two? <laughs> was there ever a thing really called? I'm, that? I'm sure there was a secret. Oh, yeah. I know. I know there was a secret squirrel. Secret squirrel was fucking awesome. Well, well, Morocco mole was his sidekick. Remember? Well, I know because you're handsome. No. You remember that Morocco well, mole? But. Hey, Tiff, while you're sitting here, man. Um, sitting gonna, here? I'm Holy gonna, shit. What? That kind of I'm going um, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna switch to uh, Stella. Why? I thought you liked that one. Well, I like that one, and now I'm ready for Stella. No, I'm just... Uh, he wants the Stella. I'm just getting my drink on, man. <laughs> you fucking a-hole. <laughs> fucking a uh, You know? Jesus. Well, fuck, man. Yeah, well. Whales fucking stick fuck. to the program, man, motherfucker. Whales. Get it? Yeah. Did you I did. Are you sure? Bone, when's the last time you ate, man? Yeah, oh, Luke's you, talking no, to his dog, me, uh, and your I dog is just today. showing Luke his anus. He's got a bowl of water. He's happy. He's got and a that's bowl why of water. he's afraid of kids. Look at that butt, man. A little fucking two-year-old man. They, they're going to walk up and stick their finger in that every time. <laughs> there Poor you fucking go. bone. And, they, and they're just little kids. They don't know what they're fucking doing. They don't know it's his butthole. What are you talking about? We never did that. I watch, why would a kid I watch little kids finger? do that all the time, man. Little tiny toddlers. They barely stand up. They don't know what that is. It looks like, like a butt. Are you serious? I swear to God, you wouldn't believe how many times he's been fucking poked in the ass by a little kid. And he's never t- ever turned around and snapped at any of them. Is that what happened ground. to you? Huh? Is that what happened to you? No, because I don't wear my butthole outside of my pants. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you got it Not that way. Usually, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, you know what? I'm pretty Not sure. Not usually. That requires a lot of whiskey. I thought maybe if your butt was out and your, your butt was sticking there, that maybe someone would put in their finger in there to tweak it. No, they might just go, ooh, what's this hanging out? Oh, let's try to shove that back up in there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there you go. Shove what up? Hemorrhoids, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why are you pushing hemorrhoids? Why would someone be shoving hemorrhoids up your ass? Because they're hanging out. Oh, that's good. 
T-Bone, see? You understand that's not correct, right? You see that? So, Luke, don't say any more. Handsome. That is a handsome dog. Yeah, you need to take a picture of him and put him on the thing, man. He's a handsome dog. He is certainly a handsome dog. And when the ears are down, they're not straight back, so it's... He's worried about you. Yes, he's telling you to shut up. (laughs) T-Bone's telling you, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't offer up so much information anymore. Hey, man. It's just, like I say, it's fun and games. Why start from fishing? Oh, no, they're picking bait. Found a school of thread fin. Well, folks, normally up until like a month ago, We'd be we'd have the sun right in our face right now. Oh, and now it's like down and stuff, and yeah, no, that's gorgeous right now, man. Yep. Got a little really bit of breeze. There's a, a cold front up. moving in. Yeah, got a cold There's front. Cold front oh, yeah. moving in. Uh, we're we got beer for Luke. Seventy-five degrees. We got. Uh, Thank you, Tiff. You're awesome. And we have Tiffany here. Wow, the mighty Sniffany. <laughs> you have two, two. <laughs> Big of fucking glass there, man. He's got, ladies and gentlemen, he didn't think, but he's drinking from like, it looks like, it looks like Bill's cup. It's a court, man. It's about the same size. Yeah, it, it this looks is like, a fucking court. Yeah, that's a court. He's drinking from a court. The court is what? Oh, but, no, this ain't a court, but it's close. Who knows, no, though? 32 ounces is a court, man. So okay, well, so uh, this well week, this week, you guys. I think the music schedule picked up this week. Uh, Saturday, I saw you uh, early in the morning. Yeah, I'm here Saturday and Sunday. No, no, I saw you Saturday, this past Saturday, early in the morning. Oh. When I did the bridge run. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you were there at 8.30. Yeah, I don't remember leaving. Leaving? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, folks, yeah, they had the bridge, uh, Key Largo Bridge Run. It was Saturday morning. Uh, the run started at 7.30. I did a podcast from there from... Oh, yeah, you saw me pull seven, in. 7 o'clock, uh, a little after 7. You were doing the roving reporter thing, man. I did that, yeah, and what, for what it was worth. But then afterwards, I waited for, like, a couple of runners to come in from the 5K. I didn't wait till the 10K. Not that I didn't care about their achievement. But I realized afterwards I wasn't going to go up to someone after he fucking ran in a long time and ask him a bunch of fucking questions because I feel like a fucking douchebag. It's like after you just got beat up and go, hey, hey, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> you just had a shit kicked out of you by Mike Tyson. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. It was 30. <laughs> yeah, 30. What was it? Michael um, Sphinx when he went in there for like 15 seconds. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, old reference, but there was a fight. Leon Spinks or Michael Spinks? I think it was Leon Spinks. Leon, uh, he was fighting Mike Tyson and went in there for like 30 well, seconds. Well, Spinks was like, what, 38 or something like that. And Tyson at the time was still in early 20s, man. He's still a young guy. Like didn't fucking matter, so. though, man. It really didn't because George Foreman came back when he was in his 40s. Yeah, but Foreman got his ass kicked, too. No, he beat some he beat some quality guys too. Yeah, no, he beat he beat a bunch of guys before he got uh, before yeah, he got yeah. his ass kicked. Yeah, before he got his ass kicked. Uh, yeah, but wait, they, wait, were, they were all um, they were all like, thirty eight. But they and I know we just segued they off. Weren't it. All, um, they weren't all contenders, though, you know. I mean, well, they fucking was, Leon, Leon's or Michael was it? Mike, Leon's you know, no, the, was it Michael Spinks or no, Leon? You know, here is the funny thing. So you are talking about the heavyweight boxers, but wasn't it Sugar Ray fucking Leonard that beat the fuck out of all the heavyweights? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, man, Sugar Ray. Leonard Leonard wore their asses out. Yeah, yeah, he did. A, he, they, did he was so lightning quick they couldn't. He, land did, a he punch. did a bunch of exhibition. Yeah, exhibition. No, but who did he fight? He fought. He fought all. He Not fought. any named ones. Yes, he did. He fought all. He, I think Sugar he, Ray. Wait, I love Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray I love Sugar uh, Ray. But a heavyweight guy, like, I mean, yeah, I you think just Tyson, can't let him connect. I think Tyson. He was too fast. They couldn't hit him, man. Uh, I, you don't remember dude. watching any? Of those I love fights, watching flyweights. Man. Well, I thought ha- Hagler was. The better. Marvelous Marvin. Yep. I love watching lightweights and flyweights, man. I like heavy heavyweights too. Some good heavyweights. Yeah. I mean, now you're getting, you know, you get the guys like Merriweather who move pretty good. But yeah. But that's lot, a middleweight. 
Is he a middleweight? I yeah. thought he was a heavyweight. No, he's not. Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather is not. Because yeah. he, he fought Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, because Pacquiao. Was, yeah, it was fun Yeah, he did beat. He beat the shit out of Marvelous Marvin Hagler. He was That's a not a heavyweight? Yeah. No, he's not. Hagler, Hagler was not a heavyweight. heavyweight. It, was a, it was a middleweight or welterweight. He never was a heavyweight. Hagler was never a heavyweight. Ah, there's where you have your mistake. Let me see, man. I'll find out. Oh, now the wife calls. Hagler. Oh. Right when I'm doing something Wait, that I actually uh, give you know a what? shit. I, Luke, please pick up the phone and talk to him. Oh, no. Well, he's trying to pick up the phone. It might be a while. No, I'm not trying to pick oh, it no, up. He's oh, not pick even... it up. Pick it up. Come on, Luke. We wait. Can you call her back? Why? Just call her back and talk to her. She knows where I am and what I'm doing. I know, doing, but put, on, put the phone up. And I want you. Could you answer her questions? <laughs> About what? Cheers. Woo. Can you answer we her? have the lovely Marianne. Marianne, yeah, thank you. Um, could you call her? Give her a call. Oh, Why not? And don't bad. say anything because she bugged you during the show. Well, you know, it's just fuck, man. Are you working with her tomorrow? No. Are you working with her on Friday? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can handle it. I'm he not wasn't okay, you're right. He was middleweight champion. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying, come on. I'm not he trying to be. I don't care if I'm right. I'd rather you call your wife. <laughs> I don't care. I could be fucking wrong. I'm a fucking idiot. That's okay. I'm probably wrong, too. But I know yeah. Sugar Ray did beat some of the fucking... I know. Movies. I know. You're right. Hey, I, I, I'll give you... Luke, no, I'll give not. you that. I'll give you that. I apologize. Could you call Kim? What? They didn't stop That'd and say, be great. hello, what's wrong? What's wrong with them? We're gonna, we got... Where are we right now? Uh, we're about half an hour. Where, okay. Luke, <laughs> where you, don't you have her number? Oh, you come on. What are you fucking doing? No, he's texting. He he's still her checking all. shit. Man, I'm he fucking I'm get... anal retentive. I can't. I can't Forget help about it. it. I'm I'll, 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 listen, even oh, if there it doesn't go. matter. It's not that They're important. It is not that important. And I'm I'm, oh, 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 I'm oh, oh, right oh. or wrong. It isn't. But uh, how about calling your wife? Why would I do that? She sent me a text. I want to hear it. Did you buy a top? I'm at Kmart now. Fuck no. So I'm typing that in. Luke. It Fuck would, no. Promise me. Give her a call. Talk to her. Find uh, out what she wants to talk no. about. God no, damn I'm it. No, I'm with Luke. No. Because Kimberly's going to harass the fuck out of all of us if we do that so shit. So fucking what? Why would you get rid of she good? already harasses me anyway. I don't need to if be harassed anymore. If she did something that made your music better and it was natural, why would you not go through it? What? No. No, can't, can't, no. She makes uh, a rape. That analogy is just, yeah, just that's like saying, um, would no, you she rather doesn't. wipe your ass with your, your hovercraft has puppies. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, what I'm suggesting, I'm not saying she makes your music better. Uh, she makes the podcast better when she talks to you. Mm. But see, nobody can hear her, so. I know, but your response, you're responding <laughs> to her. I love you, you baby. You, they can imagine <laughs> Don't kick my the ass. things that were asked. That's the great thing, the brilliance of it. When you're answering the questions, it is great. Not hearing her and you're answering the questions. If you if you said, no, I didn't see this girl in my underwear the other night. Well, that's because my cat wouldn't share space. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, know, I know, but I was fell asleep on the shade lounge or something squirrel, like that. My cat, I'm no. just saying it's a it's a great conversation. Okay, I. I'm telling you, people heard me half a conversation with Abby, and you listen to whatever they're saying. It doesn't matter, but your response makes people Okay, th- so what she was asking me was, see, we have to take care of our landlord's fucking shit. Yeah. So it survived, the tarp on their boat survived fucking Irma, but this year the few little storms we have have now destroyed that fucking tarp. What I'm saying so is, so now what, we got to replace the tarp. So what she, would she, she have was said to you? At me for not taking care of the tarp. No, no. Okay, but what did she say? Even though I was working all day, what'd she say? Did you buy a tarp? I'm at Kmart now because she's going to waste money at Kmart on a tarp. No, 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 no. Tell, fit. tell me exactly what. Oh, paraphrase what she said. I'm just telling you what her message said. I know, but I'm if you were on the phone, like paraphrase, did you buy a tarp today? Did you I'm buy a tarp today? Now. I'm at Kmart right now. Yeah. And then your response would have been if you were on the phone. No. I wasn't there. 
It's not my fucking problem. I mean, I, I told I, I told you I would handle it, but I didn't handle it. But whatever, you would have No, thought. I didn't say I was going to handle it. I no, no, said, no, I meant... When, I can, pre- when we can afford a tarp. No, what I meant to say is whenever you say people presuppose what the other person said because they don't hear it on the show. Oh, I know what you mean by that. That's man, the funny part. Just, it uh, doesn't even matter. It could be I like... I wasn't feeling I mean, particularly clever today. You're not, you don't have to be clever. That's why I said half a conversation would have been better. I said half a conversation would have been better. Me, it's like, hey, Luke, I need you to pick up some petunias today. Because nah, I'm not really into flowers today. I didn't petunias? Just have, yeah, but there you go. You could have said, well, you could have said anything. Petunias. But half the conversation would have been it's like, hey, listen, you know what? I think. Hey, who was, uh, you remember the cartoon character Petunia? Wh- whose girlfriend was Petunia? Uh, Peppy Lou Pew. Petunia. Wasn't that Porky Pig's girlfriend? Yeah, Petunia Pig. Petunia? Peppy Lou Pew didn't have a girlfriend. He banged anything in the movie. He, he, banged, tried he was he looking look for anything that looked him. like a skunk, whether it was yeah, a skunk he, or he not. He hugged him. Even if it was a boy cat. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Uh, well, he was French, you know. <laughs> I, I was trying to explain the nature of it like, to Luke. And Luke... Um, the, even though that it's funny when you're on the phone with someone, as long as you're not revealing private inf- information. Yesterday I was talking to Abby. I, the phone rang when um, Bill and I are in the middle of the show. I pick it up and it said, hi. It's like the old joke. The phone rings. Oh, um, who? No, she's not here. You know? Uh, no, or, well, no, you say, well, no, she's here right now, but she, my dick's in her mouth. She can't get to the phone. No, what I yeah, said, what I said to her, I said, joke, the first thing when I picked up the phone, I said, listen, we're on the air right now. And she started talking and stuff like that and I started answering her questions. I answered like three, four questions. And then I said, hon, do you know what I meant when I said we're on the air right now? And she goes, we're on the air right now? I said, yeah, we're on the air right now. And, and I said, and I said, uh, yeah. And I said, You're, all the things you said to me, you said to me, I responded to them. But no one heard what she said. She just heard my responses, and I, if I didn't mention anybody's name, I really didn't screw up any of her confidentialities. Yeah. So that's that's all I meant by that. And that's really hard to do sometimes, but I don't think it's that hard. Luke, do you understand that? What? Like, if you don't mention someone's <laughs> name, <laughs> what? this is my wife, and if you don't mention someone's name or you something like that, you didn't violate any privacy. Hell no. Unless they're down here and everybody knows who she is. Yeah, and she's still going to scream at us. <laughs> but she'll never listen, so she'll never hear it. Unless somebody actually goes up No, to but her at and the end, Abby, Abby was listening. She goes, Well, listen, I don't want to hear my voice. I said, How are you going to hear your voice? Because I was on the phone with you. You weren't on the phone. Like, how fucking Howard Stern's wife would get on the line with him? I, I never. I'm not comparing myself a, to Howard Stern. I, was never, uh, I never pay attention to him that much. Luke, don't separate yourself too fucking much because you never heard yourself at 12 o'clock at night after you've been drinking, talking to Kathy and shit like that. You know that? Well, Because you yeah. could have been Howard Stern. Well, maybe, but well, I still haven't listened to him on the radio. Yeah, I, I, that's, that, was, that was my own point. You know, I'm, not, I'm not dissing him or nothing. I'm just saying that's just not my thing, you know? Yep. I don't mean no. I don't do it either. No, I'm uh, not. I, I don't. I don't. I think myself. Is he line. still on? I generally yeah. don't like. Is he? I think he is. I oh, generally okay. just. You know, when I listen to the radio, I, like, I want to hear music. Like Ten million dollars yeah, a year huh? or something like that. Good for him. When I listen to the radio, I want he's to got hear his music. bit going, man. He's doing well. What we're doing right now, I would probably never listen to. <laughs> 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 you know. Because that's just not. On that my, note, I think it's we not my should thing. end the show. Oh, I think, no, uh, give it a couple minutes. It'll it'll keep going downhill. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's um, <laughs> no. You man. know what I would be? What we're doing right now? I what we're doing right now, Luke I'll, and, and Bill? AM I wouldn't radio. listen to either. You know, yeah, you'd probably turn it off. Where they get the thread fin herring. Yep. Where? Picking up all the thread fin. Got the bait boat out in front of us, working. Uh, Working hard, getting thread oh fin herring. Oh, my God, man. Her pants fell down. Look at the beaver on that, babe. There wow, you go. son of a bitch, He's making man. making up uh, a false narrative Coo. right now. There you go. Well, listen. Uh, no, it went it went well today, really well. Um, hey, man, so have you ever talked about pussy lips, man? Uh, you know, how you got the different kinds, you know? Innies, outies. 
and you know some that are like, not like, being like able flappy to ones just... that look like roast beef, you know. <laughs> some of them look like Arby's <laughs> roast beef. So, you know, they're they're kind of like. <laughs> Hey, you know why like, we don't have that fucking big audience already? Why would you go and alienate women now? Because a lot of women. Well, you'd be like pussy to eat shaming. Pussy now, man. It's called pussy shaming. Okay, so you want me to make fun of my dick first? I got. Let's make fun of your uh, my I'm, I'm little slightly, mushroom. I'm slightly larger but, than a micro dick. I'm probably equally, maybe a hair, hair bigger than Trump. There you go. You know, but full field mouse. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I don't think like it's possible. Field mouse, man. I don't think you it's know. possible. But he reproduced, you know. But I never did. Want I to don't reproduce. know if he reproduced from his penis. Well, I don't know. Maybe what? he had him artificially turkey baster? inseminated. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could have been. I think it's tur- turkey baster. But uh, that'll work. But Bye. you know, the thing is, is see, pussy is one of my most favorite things in the whole wide world, man. Especially when he you're actually face wrote a song about with it. it, man. I know, and you sang it on our fake or our Miss International Woman's Day. Yeah, to this day, That's which it. is a sign of honor for you. That was awesome. So it's a love song. Well, you know, it really is. It is. It's a pure we're, fucking we're, love song. We're not going to sing it today. Uh, no, because be I'm too prepared. tired. Man. We're building Once our. I... Well, we got it. If you're going to do it, you got to do it next week. Because we're going to be too close to uh, Christmas. Are we going to do, no, no, are we going to do a Tuesday is, show, uh, uh, Bill? Yeah, I think okay. so. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday? yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday, okay. Yeah. And next yeah. week is Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Yeah, no Thursday. We don't do a Thursday. Wow, so I Oh, no, like, no Thursday a, gig. I'm, Yay. I'm you doing, I'm doing a double. No, because no, uh, Catch right. is going to be closed. Kathy always closes on Thanksgiving. I'm doing a double on Thursday. Are you? Where yeah. are you working? Well, I'm at the Lazy Lobster from 6 to 10, and I'm at the crib after that. Oh, oh that's right. fuck, man. I might come by and stop at the crib. Maybe might we'll, always fun. Maybe you'll be, we'll you'll stop be tired of fucking company and fucking, I mean. You know, I'm thinking Sandy and I are probably just going to keep it quiet. We might have a couple friends over and do so. Well, I don't know. I might I might smoke. I haven't got fired up to smoker since I've been trying to eat nice here, and I'm going to smoke. Eat me- nice? Eat nice. Eat nice. Dude, I've been eating more guys. That's his way of saying I'm going to try to eat healthy, man. Yeah. Yeah. For all eat y'all nice. non For all y'all non redneck motherfuckers. Pickle out there. wizards. Pecker Woods. Pecker Woods. Pecker Woods. Woods. So this is no shit, man. You know why I fucking know that term? We was in Deadwood, South Dakota, playing at the saloon number ten. I got their t shirt on as a matter of fact. Saloon pack. number ten. Yeah, so you know I ain't bullshitting. And so we're at the band house. And so it was, it was a shitty day. So normally we'd go out and do stuff during the day. But it was a shitty day. So we're sitting in there and we're watching this old Western. And um, it was a weird movie channel that they only have out in fucking the Black Hills of South Dakota on their little tiny ass cable system. Somewhere they might, they in might a have mine. national cable now, but back then it was their only thing. So, Somewhere in a little mining town. So a lot black. of Japanese and German porn. Okay, go. Well, so at any rate, so we're watching this thing, and uh, it's old black and white western. And come on out there, you southern trash, you redneck pecker woods. And I'll never pecker forget wood. that line my whole life. You know, Come, come on, on out yeah. there, you southern trash, you redneck pecker woods. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. We were stoned, so we laughed for a good Was this good um, Castaway? Was that Castaway? Fuck if I know. I don't even Terms of Endearment? Movie. No, no, no. It was a black and white cowboy movie. Okay. Uh, was it possible that it was all the president's men? No. No, no, no. It okay, had, okay. It, it, okay. It was it had, Aliens? Um, it had like Henry Fonda before he fucking had fucking kids. Oxbow incident. Well, no, he might have had a Peter Fonda, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> black and white? Or black and Peter white. Fonda? Bridget Fonda wasn't there yet. Bridget no, no. Fonda Peter, was like... Bridget Fonda. Yes, I Relax. hear you, Boone. I hear you, Boone. Relax. He's giving me the, you know, he wants to go around and drag me around and then find him a place and he's going to take a shit. And Oh, yeah, I have to pick up... Ladies and gentlemen, bag, since he's not referencing anybody, he's talking about Bill Witzinger right now. Yeah. So... That's what he wants. That's, that's, you can tell. Actually, what, you can I, always I prefer, tell what Bill needs to shit, man. I, I prefer yeah. to poop outside. Okay, yeah. Because he was just looking at his dog and he was saying that. Yeah, I prefer to poop outside. Okay. Well, listen, this is Jim the Keys bartender. I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Uh, hold on. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving week. I, I think maybe on Wednesday night we'll 
Then every now and again, you see one of them really beautiful, solid pink, just as bright pink as ever pussy, man. <laughs> okay. And, and the more you lick him, the redder, give thanks. redder okay. gets. Mm. Okay, that's good. We Don't say that. Mm. Fuck, stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Wait till Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. For Wednesday, next Wednesday. Things we give for thanks for. This Jim, the Keys bartender. I'm turning over to Luke. Tell him where you're going to be in it, Bill. <laughs> where are you going to be? Thursday at the crib, Friday at Gilbert, Saturday here, then Saturday night at fucking the Big Chill, and then Sunday oh, here. Oh, you know, you're op- you're, you are technically the opening act for the Sean Deacons experiment, experience. Uh, here? Yeah, he's playing here Saturday night. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> Boom. Pay attention to me. Yeah, he's playing here Saturday night. I haven't, I haven't figured, figured, figured out who, who, who got talked into that one yet. <laughs> It'll be fun. It's probably for low dough. Uh, probably. I'm thinking no dough, but. Cool. Free beer. Free beer. There you go. Uh, where am I? I got man. I'm packed up. Uh, Thursday. I'm well, we got. The, we didn't even get to talk about your Key West experience. Oh yeah, no, man. we talked about that, dude. It was Key West. It was just stupid Key West. It's fun as hell. Had a good time. I was playing Willie T's, and we're right there out on the street. People walking by, talking to you, and having a good old time. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember you telling me about that a little bit. But uh... yeah, it's always a good time <laughs> down there. But uh, let's see, I'm at uh, Art Walk down in Almorada tomorrow night. Uh, Friday night, we're at the oh, catch. Oh, they got the Art Walk going Yeah, we got on. the Art Walk thing. Uh, cool. Saturday, I'm at Sharky's. We're not here because Luke's playing. And Sunday, I'll be at Snooks with Sweetwater doing some old-time Piedmont stuff. So we thank you all for hanging out with us and listening. Oh, and Monday, I'll be at uh, Bayside Grill. Bayside Grill, Monday. So you we guys th- still fucking signing off? Yeah. I walked and went to the bathroom, washed my hands for 30 seconds, and you're still fucking signing well, off. Did, were you jerking See, off? See, you could have had time to finish no, I wasn't it off, jerking man. Off. See, that's the, I have something. <laughs> you have I something. wasn't jerking off, by the way. <laughs> thank you. That was perfect. <laughs> off. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for listening. We do appreciate you spending time with us, and uh, we will catch you next time. It'll be uh, Tuesday. Looking forward to it. Thank you all. See you. This is Julie. Hey, Calendar. What's my morning like? Julie's about to have a long day. At 9 a.m., soccer carpool. 9.10, purchase birthday card. 9.05, dry cleaning. Did you just go backwards? I'm sorry. I can't fit that question into your schedule. (sighs) 9.15, cry for a little bit. For days that won't end, let Schwann's help. With Schwann's, you can get delicious meals that go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. Visit today at schwanns.com. Switch to Sprint and save 50% off family lines with unlimited military plan. Plus, enter to win Sprint's $50,000 sweepstakes. With all that money, you could save for your family's future or pay off debt. Picture the possibilities. For rules and how to enter, visit Sprint.com slash 50K. 50% off lines 2 through 6, unlimited basic rates covered and offer not available ever. Excludes taxes, fees, and roaming subject to credit and $30 activation fee. Speed maximums, use rules, and restrictions apply. No purchase necessary in 63019, 18 and older, void where prohibited, paid advertisement, no federal endorsement implied.